Hello, my name is Alan Bissett. I'm a writer. I write novels, I write plays. Sometimes I'm in those plays, sometimes I'm no. Uh, and I am going to read today from a, a novel of mine. So it's going to be a bit like Jack and Ori. I'm not even sure if anybody out there will still remember Jack and Ori, but uh, it was a TV programme that was on when I was wee, and essentially a celebrity would read you a different book every week. It's probably still on under a different name these days, but if you can't remember it, ask your mum or dad. Although it's very possible that your mum or dad might be too young to remember it. So just Google it, basically. But I'm going to read to you today from my novel, The Incredible Adam Spark. I don't know if you can see that there. Try to get it so that the light's not bouncing off it. But that figure there is Adam Spark. He is the hero. And uh, in the first chapter, he gets a bump in the head when he is trying to save a child and he wakes up in hospital believing he's got superpowers and decides to become Falkirk's first superhero. But this is chapter two. Oh, hey, hang on, dudes, I forgot it's football time, you dancer. I am brilliant at football, me likes. Crash, bang, wallop. Judy help me get changed in my football cap, my big game, a chance to shine. You never can, I says to Judy. There might be, like, talent scouts for Falkirk, Dundee United, Arsenal, Barcelona, Inter Milan. Aye, says Judy. Getting my football boots out, she had polished them last night. Polish, polish, polish. Need to learn how to polish your own boots, Adam, eh? Hmm, I goes. Kidding on, I couldn't hear. Polish my own boots. I so on I will. Does uh, David Beckham, Wayne Rooney, Bob Dylan clean their own football boots? Don't think so. Need to learn how to do a lot more for yourself, Adam. How? I goes. What are you going like, Judy? But Judy doesn't answer. Just starts folding up the newspaper she put down cause of the mess while I practice his imaginary penalties. Everyone in the back of the net. Yep, score, score, score. The hot shot, Scott. Studs on the concrete, clack, 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 I thinks. If Dad was here, he'd be proud. Clack, 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 I thinks. If Dad was here, he'd be drunk. Gets to the park. There's the boys. The H. Glen animals most likely see the cottages bar and lounge. They are in a pub league. A league of pubs. Your pub has the best beer, but your pub serves more flavour of crisps. So, score draw. And then a man shot, nobody to play, nobody to play, they're a man shot. Big Mark Baxter saw me at the shops an hour ago, he's like, Oh, Sparky, do you play football at all? I'm like, aye man, I'm amazing. And before you can it, I am the H going animal's best pal. Best pal, not punch bag. That, I'm sure you'll agree, is mental. They put me in goals, the cat they call me. Just stand there, Sparky, the H going animals are like, stand there, don't move, alright? But how can I not play striker, boys? Keep you up, eh? One, two, three. Oops, dropped it. Tip top striker, me like. Super Adam with the Glasgow Rangers football club. That's me. Eh, eh? No. They'd said. As if I'd said to them, like, maybe we should, eh, like, rob a bank or, eh, jump off the high flats in Cali Park or something. No. Sparky, you're in goals, right? Just stay there. Try and stop the ball if it comes, eh? I stuck the ball, 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 I stuck the ball. Total says that like a hundred times or something, man. Repetition! Like how mam used to teach me the words when I was wee. C A T D O G, C A T D O G. I stuck the ball, 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 I stuck the ball. And here's the action on the Dawson Park football pitch. Oof, bash, hug. The team from the Cottages, Baron Lounger defending. And the team from the Checkers, Baron Lounger on the attack. It's all go here, neck and neck. Even Stevens and woof, there's the shot. I stuck the ball, 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 I stuck the ball. <sighs> Boring. Even though I've been told to stop that muddy little son of a bee, it does not come near. No, no, hands on my hips, man. Yawn. How's I think? Feels so good that I'm playing with the H. Glen animals, those well-respected gang dudes. They want me, Adam Spark, Sparky, the C.A.T. Things aren't so bad. Sun shines at the hoosies at the side of the pitch. Shine, shine goes the windies. Magic, cool, wonderful. Look at them. I look at them. Then I look at them. And I'm looking. Then I do some looking. And a bit more looking. And some looking. A bit more of that too. Most beautiful windies I've ever seen, man. Like the tinsel on a Christmas tree or the wrapping on a Terry's all gold box of chocolates. Whole big wide row of golden windies shining. Shining. Shine on. Then Big Mark Baxter's running at me, total angry look on his face like Tom, Tom and Jerry. <laughs> you stupid. Why did you not stop the ball? 
balls in the net. Other team are total running about, hugging each other, celebrating, we are the champion style. Look at the windies back, you know what I mean? See light, like the way the sun's shining off them. Big Mark looks at the windies. Everyone's moving in like a big squad, army troops round wee Sparky here. <laughs> squad leader, we got him surrounded. Ah, uh, goes Mark. <clears throat> aren't, you know, aren't they like, like really beautiful and, 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 and golden? Big Mark looks at the Windies. Big Mark looks at me. Big Mark looks mad. But you're not but you're numpty, Mark says. You didn't see them coming. You were looking at the Windies and you didn't see the ball coming. You tube. Mark smacks me again. He goes boing in the old neck there. Other team stop cheering for a look. Having a good look, other team. Aye, nosy Parkers, nosy Peter Parker, Spider Man's a lot of his. What age are you? Goes Mark. 18, I says. Proud, proud. Mark sighs and shakes his head, and his eyes go wee and nasty, and the light above his head goes blue, dark blue, nearly black, black light. How can that be, man? Weird, this paranormal world, the mysterious powers that Sparky finds himself in. 18 is still acting like us. Gone, Mark. Somebody says, batter him. I hate that wee mongol. Hmm. <laughs> I explained to them in the proper voice that Judy told me to use when talking to fickles. <laughs> I am not a... I am simply Adam Spark. Simple Adam Spark, goes one of them. Aye, right. No, I sp that wee garden was the bottom class at Falkirk High School for everything, man. Used to have to go to Miss Ski Hall and the special needs. Can't even write his own name. <laughs> Miss Ski Hall. She was nice. Aye. She was nice. I start thinking about Miss Ski Hall's nice, nice voice. Can you read the sentence, Adam? Kathy and James played badminton. Can you read that? Badminton. Are nice, nice eyes and lovely perfume smell. And for you, Kenneth, I have lost my concentration. That is what you'll get for losing the old concentration, Sparky, my man. You watching, you watching, because here it comes. <laughs> Mark smacks me again. They all move in, giving it spaz, spaz, spaz like gunfire. Big Mark starts punching, kicking, booting. I falls onto the ground, man. Mud in my mouth, boot, boot, kick, punch, pummel. Boot, oof, ah, oh yeah. Boot, 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 boot. <laughs> And I looks up, and I sees them windies, man. Gold, shining, still beautiful. And then, <laughs> Okay, thank you. Uh, that was from The Incredible Adam Spark. If anybody wants to buy that, you can go to my website and buy it directly from me, alanbissett.com, I'll even sign it to you and send it to you, if you fancy it, thank you so much for listening, uh, I've really enjoyed talking to you, even although I can't see you, uh, it's nice to know that there's people out there that are going to listen to this, and I think that sort of thing just makes us feel a wee bit less disconnected from each other at this weird time, uh, definitely the strangest year any of us have ever had, or will ever have. So uh, thank you so much for being here. Hopefully I'll get the chance to read for you again, maybe in saner times. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the year and have a lovely Christmas. Bye.